let's see what we've got for you um your past energy obviously is going to have a little bit of a fuss but i don't know i feel like you're in a good spirit now especially a lot of us have light and energies now so it's almost like choosing to not process certain things at the moment um and needing a a, a soul a soul break okay so yeah religious factor um, your love life is influenced by a spiritual path and I just feel yep and there goes your new love so things are moving in the right direction soulmate like I've been feeling a lot of you've got this new person some of you um, are gonna meet this person but keep an open mind things are definitely changing yep wedding and separation some of you this is the separation of a marriage probably for some of you divorce will be finalized um, with this past person and um you guys will be able to move forward with your new person so um let's see what the interference energies are for this separation because clearly this is showing up spirit what's the interference for cancer oh you know guys go take out check out taurus's reading this card euphoria joys came out so this is a good energy if you guys are dealing with a taurus okay so clearly here we go running ghosting disappearing invisible i feel this person is trying to run from their emotions but um it doesn't seem that way yeah memories bittersweet dwelling reminiscing and they're just giving time um i think this came up in taurus's reading as well if i'm not mistaken but this definitely came out so you're in your space of thrills and joy and you're experiencing life differently i feel um but your person is elusive and they're suppressing secret admirer i feel suppression mainly resistance to um accepting the change right so clouded judgment unbalanced skewed so they're they're this person's just still skewed about what's happening and it's almost like they're running from the truth so either some of you may, may experience them kind of slightly avoiding you at the moment only because it's something they're trying it's it, their illusions their clouded judgment they they live in that fog or a cloudedness of what's going on or not wanting to accept the change that's happening the separation that's taking place um all right so let's see what else we've got for you what are the main energies okay so here we go three of pentacles recognition reward and movement choices and decisions so i do feel this final um energy for you when it comes to this decision a lot of you are really um recognizing where you stand which is probably why you're 3d the chills euphoria right fulfillment of wishes you're engaging more in and things that fulfill you that make you happy yep ignite your passions your soul you know so ace of wands the chariot you're going for change here you're very determined the emotional distance to me this is the boundaries created with this past person that really creates this good space for you and then we have crown chakra and i just feel that's your person their interruptive mind space um yeah they're skewed right so this this is this they're just not uh, an unwillingness to accept is what i'm hearing so give me more of this ace of wands you've moved on <laughs> give me more of this ace of wands yeah justice this is done this marriage will be done ace of pentacles you're done uh, guys check out taurus energy king of pentacles a lot of you is this mar you, this ex who doesn't want to one let you go doesn't want to accept that you've you're now rejecting them and you've started over in another connection okay more of this chariot things are definitely balancing out this court situation is going to be out because you've got two aces here too for a lot of you so give me more of this chariot another ace beautiful so we have ace of swords this is a triumph in the high priestess so trust in the process again i feel that goes with the keep an open mind so trust in the process things are moving forward also your determination cancer because you know chariot is your energy your determination in terms of how you're approaching what's happening you're very clear um you're giving things time temperance and there goes the sun positive very positive 
I just think you're focused on your happiness and you're very clear about where you want things to go. You're, you're moving in a really good direction. You got three aces here now. Give me more of this eight of pentacles. I mean, eight of cups. The tower. So the boundaries create more change. Ten of cups. Yep, you're sticking to your happiness. You're allowing the distance and the boundaries to really create distance from this person. A lot of it, no more communication. Six of wands. You're feeling much better. And there goes the other ace. Um, no, actually you're missing the ace of cups. So you have ace of wands in your reading twice. So you obviously have something that makes you happy. And a lot of you are really in this space where you're very, you know, enjoying yourself. This, this new connection really is more fulfilling. Ten of pentacles wants to peek out. So definitely something very, very good. Give me more of this crown chakra. I knew it so the moon and then there goes the eight of cups again so the moon with the crown chakra these are the emotions of your person and i think this person um your ex tends to think too much about they're elusive about themselves and probably i do feel a level of selfish energy but you're not carrying eight of cups you're gonna let them make all the noise they want um let's see what this moon is give me more on the moon And also seeing things for what they are. Seven of Wands, yeah. It's like, I feel like you're seeing things for what they are. You're not letting yourself be blinded anymore by the circumstance. So a lot of you are really conquering this, this um, self-love and change that's happening and really focusing on your happiness. You know, the separation will happen. I'm going to pull. I just feel like this person plays victim here. Give him one of the separation. So there goes the emperor, the king of wands, the nine of wands, and the knight of wands. Oh, my God. And the queen of wands. A lot of fire energy, the sun. A lot of fire energy. So this person is in a very controlling energy, like jealous, controlling. They're fuming. And some of them may be fuming silently, but they're very much controlling the situation still. I think you're just, again, when you set boundaries and go no contact, you're not giving them the time of day. And I do feel since it's showing a couple here, king and queen of wands, you're not facing each other. So um, that's it, the distance. It's, it's creating tension, but at the same time, it's creating distance. So it's going to be more farther. The separation is more and more becoming more reality. More of a reality in terms of what's happening. See, they're not going to go down without a fight. Um, so let's see what your guidance is. What's the, I mean, the blockage. What's the blockage for this? Cancer. It's a blockage for cancer. Yeah, so duality. You've known the worst, prepping for the best. I feel that's a process that's what's being ha what's happening behind the scenes and beliefs your beliefs are keeping you stuck and that's their stuck energy that's that em emperor energy i do feel some rigid energy so a lot of you is also re releasing um releasing the way you went about approaching the situation too so let's see what's the codependent energy this person is experiencing because i do feel codependency with the separation all right, something flipped. Let me get one more. It's the codependent energy. All right, so we have prejudice. What if you were categorized into a group and given attributes that were false without truly knowing who you are? 
So I feel like this person will come with some, again, to me, strong belief system. So I think it's an attachment to an old version of who you are. And um, now they're just making false accusations and manipulative. Yes, exactly. Let go wanting to exert power over someone or situation. Do you need to work on your self-esteem? And that's what it is. So that's what I feel with this energy, with the emperor. It's like a controlling energy now. So it's to get power over the separation of the controlling the situation. So it goes, it moves as slow as possible. Um, so it's as troubled as possible. Um, it's very manipulative. And it's, a, it's just to me a form of control. So they're planting, um, again, the clouded judgment, right? So they're skewed and they're probably starting to create with this prejudice assumption, a judgment towards you and creating stories that are not really true. False, false narratives now is what I'm hearing. False narratives. Um, let me get the, any warnings for cancer when it comes to this person. Any warnings? So cheating, double life, they are single when you're not around, lots of flirting and questionable behavior. So this person obviously is still doing their thing. They're sneaky, sneaky behavior, sneaky internet behavior could be hiding porn, secrets, accounts, or lusting, browsing. Clearly this person is not single, I feel. They're doing their thing behind the scenes, no matter what. Sneaky behavior, more sneaky behavior. They're not always where they say they're going to be. And what do we got here? More sneaky behavior, gossip. They are complaining about you to others. So that's the false narrative. There you go. A lot of you, it's um, a false narrative. Oh, wow. Okay, so you see all this sneaky behavior too? Uh, they're trying to create a story about your connection. So I think they're either going to make pretend that you've been cheating, maybe create a story. Some of you is creating a story about you've been cheating on them while married still so this is again to get a hold this is the gossip so this is to get a hold of a narrative now i hear what now i know i'm hearing false narrative for some of them for some of you but you don't give a damn this person could complain all they want all right so let's see what the guidance is for you Changes, a wind of change is breathing through your life. A new path is unfolding for you. Believe in yourself and stay strong because it could be a rocky time. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I do think obviously continue because it's still going to be rocky. I do feel that it's not going to be the easiest transition. But the point here is, is that it really is a new path unfolding. So try to stay, keep an open mind. Try to stay um, positive also during this time. Be ahead of the game when it comes to this person. And I feel like this person has become pretty predictable at this point, you know, as they are, toxic people are. Moonlight, I bathe in moonlight and she whispers that everything will be okay. Yep, cancer, it will. And at this very moment, I'm right where I need to be. So things are moving through the way they need to move through right now, cancer. So um, I'm gonna leave it there. I love you, cancer. Please like, share, subscribe.